The Panama Canal is a 50-mile waterway connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Ships use the canal as a shortcut, avoiding a longer journey around South America. The canal handles over 14,000 ships each year, carrying goods like cars, clothes, oil and grain. It is a vital artery of global trade, facilitating trillions of dollars worth of goods annually. Without the canal, shipping costs would skyrocket, leading to higher prices for consumers worldwide. The canal's strategic location in Panama has made it a geopolitical focal point. Control of the canal has long been a matter of international interest. The United States played a key role in its construction and control for much of the 20th century. Today the Panama Canal Authority, an autonomous agency of the Panamanian government, manages and operates the canal. The canal's impact extends beyond economics, shaping international relations and fostering cultural exchange. As a testament to human ingenuity and international cooperation, the Panama Canal stands as a symbol of globalization. Its continued operation is paramount for a prosperous and interconnected world. The idea of a canal across the Isthmus of Panama dates back to the 16th century. The Spanish considered it but deemed it impossible with the technology of the time. In the 19th century the French, led by Ferdinand de Lesseps, attempted the project in 1881. Disease, landslides and financial mismanagement led to its abandonment in 1889. The United States took over the project in 1904, learning from the French failures. Engineers designed a system of locks to overcome the difference in water levels between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The canal utilizes three sets of locks, Gatun, Pedro Miguel, and Miraflores, to lift vessels 85 feet to the level of Gatun Lake, and then lower them back down to sea level. This intricate lock system, along with the dredging of channels through the Continental Divide, stands as a testament to human engineering prowess. The Panama Canal faces a growing threat, a shortage of water. The canal's operation relies heavily on fresh water, with locks needing vast amounts to function. Climate change is altering rainfall patterns in Panama, leading to more frequent and severe droughts. In 2019, the canal experienced its fifth driest year in over a century, forcing the Panama Canal Authority to impose draft restrictions. Ships had to carry less cargo to reduce their weight and draft, increasing shipping costs. Deforestation in the canal watershed exacerbates the problem, reducing the land's ability to retain water. The Panama Canal Authority is implementing measures to address the water crisis, including researching new technologies and promoting reforestation efforts. However, these efforts require significant investment and time to yield substantial results. The long-term sustainability of the Panama Canal hinges on addressing these environmental challenges. The water crisis is a stark reality for the people of Panama. Local communities are experiencing the impact of water shortages firsthand. Farmers face crop losses due to insufficient irrigation. Indigenous communities struggle to access clean water. The rains used to be predictable, says a farmer from Nuevo Emperador. Now we never know when to plant our crops. Sometimes it doesn't rain for months and our fields dry up. Experts warn that the situation will worsen if no drastic measures are taken. The Panama Canal Authority acknowledges the concerns of local communities and is engaging with stakeholders to find sustainable solutions. Balancing the economic interests of global trade with the environmental needs of Panama and its people is a delicate act. The voices of those most affected highlight the need for urgent action and global cooperation. Addressing the water crisis requires a multi-pronged approach. The Panama Canal Authority is exploring ways to reduce water consumption in its operations. This includes researching new technologies like water recycling systems for the locks. Finding alternative sources of fresh water is another priority, including building new reservoirs and desalination plants. Addressing deforestation in the canal watershed is crucial. Reforestation efforts are underway to restore degraded lands and improve water retention. The Panama Canal Authority is working with local communities to promote sustainable land management practices. These solutions come with their own set of challenges, requiring significant investment and cooperation. Addressing the water crisis is not just about finding technological solutions, it requires a fundamental shift in how water resources are managed. The Panama Canal stands at a crossroads, its future linked to the global climate crisis. The canal's vulnerability to droughts and extreme weather events is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of global trade and climate change. If current trends continue, the canal's ability to operate efficiently is in jeopardy. This has significant implications for global trade, leading to higher costs and shortages of goods. The world is watching closely as Panama grapples with these challenges. The future of the Panama Canal depends on the actions taken today. Finding sustainable solutions requires global cooperation, technological innovation, and a commitment to responsible environmental stewardship. The world cannot afford to let the Panama Canal run dry. Its fate is a litmus test for our ability to address the pressing challenges of climate change and ensure the sustainability of global trade routes in the 21st century.